Hello everyone, in this video today we are going to talk about this lens, Canon's RF24, 105, but it is a constant f2, 8 aperture zoom lens. Actually, when Canon first released this lens last year, they wanted me to talk about it. But on the one hand, I was traveling outside at that time. On the other hand, when I saw the size and design of this lens, including its price of 22,000 yuan, I felt that this lens was not suitable for me to use when traveling, nor was it suitable for people of my level to buy. Obviously, this lens is specially designed for some professional video shooting scenes. For example, you can see that the focal length of this lens is from 24mm to from 105mm to 105mm. It is a very commonly used focal range from wide angle to telephoto. In fact, many video shooting scenes are not like filming movies or short films. There is often enough time or environment for you to change lenses. For example, the scenes of some documentaries, weddings, and meetings often change. When using this lens with a large zoom range, you don't need to change lenses back and forth. It can be more flexible to cope with different shooting scenes. This lens offers an f2. The constant aperture of 8 can also effectively reduce the picture in some scenes with relatively dark light or low light. ISO provides better video shooting quality. The background blur effect provided by the large aperture is needless to say. For professional shooting scenes like these, they are actually not insensitive to size, weight, and price. If your lens cannot complete the shooting, it is actually meaningless. Therefore, they are willing to sacrifice the so-called portability to ensure that it can be used. For example, this lens is Canon's first RF mount lens with an independent aperture control ring. There is a switch on this side that needs to be flipped to independently control the aperture of the lens. And you can see that the aperture ring has no scale when it is turned. You can stop at any point on the aperture ring and it changes the aperture very smoothly. So it is obvious that the design of this aperture ring is specifically for video shooting. The front of the lens also has the classic Canon RF mount lens control ring design. In addition to the focus ring and zoom ring, there are a total of four control rings on the lens body. So for some professional photographers have more control, including two independent custom buttons on the lens. You can set some required functions, and when the lens is zoomed, as we just saw, the lens does not change at all. It is an internal zoom design. Unlike some photographic lenses, you can see that the lens will extend when it is zoomed. This is the external zoom. On the one hand, it can ensure that it is dustproof and waterproof. On the other hand, when you zoom, the overall center of gravity of the lens, it's not particularly big. For example, when you use a tripod or a stabilizer, you don't have to adjust the level very frequently. And the biggest feature of this zoom ring is that its zoom damping is very light. You can see that I can easily push it with my little thumb. When I use this lens, it is very comfortable to rotate the zoom. It is not like a camera lens because it is an external zoom design, so when you rotate it, its damping force is a bit large. Not only is it more tiring, but when you rotate it, its zoom is not very smooth. This lens is specially designed for video. The lens has a very even damping force whether you start or stop the lens. And you can see below that there is a special card on the lens ring. There are contacts under the teeth and you can see a lot of screw holes next to them, which means this lens can be equipped with an electric zoom kit, which allows for smooth zooming at the touch of a button. But I took a look at this electric zoom kit. You can guess how much it costs. If converted into RMB, it is about 10,000 UN. So an electric zoom component is half the price of this lens. Professional users may not be particularly sensitive to price, and if you focus at more than 50 mm, the focus breathing effect of this lens is very weak. But you can still see it a little at the wide angle end. It is obviously designed for professional video shooting. However, this lens does not have very good. The parfocal design means that when the focus is set, the focus can be maintained at the same place when you move the zoom ring. The focus movement of this lens is still quite obvious. However, if you turn on autofocus, its focus can still keep up with you when you zoom. However, after all, the price of parfocal lenses is not cheap, 
So I think Canon may have made some compromises in the design of the lens group in order to save some costs. From the focus breath test just now, it should be seen that the focus speed of this lens is very fast. Even with the R5C, which is criticized by many for its slow focus system, you can see that the focus is tighter when shooting with 4K 120FPs upscaling at the horses flying by. Not to mention the static shots in normal situations. It supports face and eye recognition and touch object tracking. In photo shooting mode, the R5C uses the same photo mode focusing system as the EOS R5. You can see that even when the aperture is fully open and high-speed continuous shooting is performed, the head is wrapped very tightly. When you point your hand straight at the lens, the focus of each photo looks very solid. And I found that this lens has a very close focus distance at the telephoto end of 105 mm. So it is very convenient for you to take some close-ups. And there is a focus formation limit next to the lens. The closest limit can be from one meter to infinity. If you don't usually shoot close things, you can limit the focus formation to make its focus search faster. Of course, this lens must have Canon's very classic IS anti shake. There is a stabilizer switch on the side. For example, when paired with a video camera without body anti shake like the R5C or C70, the anti shake effect is very good when shooting handheld. Of course, if you pair it with a camera like the R5R 6R3, this kind of camera with body stabilization will definitely provide better handheld shooting stability. And this lens has three independent stabilization modes to choose from. The first one is positive. The second mode is designed for video shooting. For example, if I move the camera horizontally, it will only stabilize the camera in the vertical direction, but not in the horizontal direction to affect your composition. If you hold the camera vertically, it will also stabilize the camera in the horizontal direction, but not in the vertical direction. The last one, Model 3, is designed for taking photos. It will only stabilize the camera when you press the shutter button. So if you are chasing something complicated, it can make you, when you are framing, you will not be affected by the anti-shake component. After watching it for so long, you will find that it has an independent tripod ring. In fact, before I got this lens, I felt that this lens was still relatively heavy because of the independent tripod ring. But in fact, this lens is not as heavy as it looks. If you pick it up, it is lighter than you think. About the same as Canon's RF70, 200 f2. Eight weighs 100 grams. As we all know, this telephoto lens is actually quite light. It is 100 grams lighter than Canon's RF28, 70 f2. So when I was holding it outside to shoot, I didn't feel it was particularly heavy. You can see that it has many functions and is well designed despite its weight and size. But I personally think that for ordinary photography with lower requirements, these designs are actually unnecessary such as a constant f2. 8 aperture Canon has the big 3 RF24, 70 f2, 8. If you want aperture, it has aperture. If you want image stabilization, it also has IS. But this 24, 10 5 f2, 8 RF24, 70 f2. 8 is 10,000 when more expensive, but in terms of parameters, it only has an extra 35mm telephoto focal length. For example, Canon's RF24105 f4 l and RF24105 f2. 8 Canon also has an IS control ring, and there are no fewer features on it, except that the aperture is one stop smaller from f2. 8 to f4, but I believe everyone knows the price of this lens. Only RF24105 f2, one quarter of 8 is about 6,000 yuan. Now you can buy 46 24 Is it necessary to spend four times the money to buy a larger aperture? This needs to be considered. Based on my previous experience for ordinary photography, one stop higher ISO is not a big problem. Now there are many AI noise reduction software. For a larger aperture, use RF24, 105 f2.8. RF28, 105 f2 is also an option. The focal length of 35 mm can be shortened. I think it is not a big problem to crop it later. If you must have a telephoto lens, RF24, 105 f2, 8, for an extra 10,000 yuan, you can now buy a Canon USR8. If you are shooting activities, dual cameras are definitely more flexible than a single lens. In fact, I have compared the image quality of these two lenses. Indeed, when the aperture is fully open, the f2.8, its image quality is better than RF24 105 f4, especially in the corners. If the image is zoomed to f4 or higher, the resolution will be higher. However, if you use RF24105 f2, 
If you only use the R5C for taking photos, I think it's a bit of an overkill because many of its designs are specifically designed to cope with some video shooting scenes. But if you shoot video, you will find that the improvement in image quality is almost invisible. You shoot a 4K video, which is 8 million pixels. Even if you pair it with the R5C to shoot 8K video, in my experience, it is not noticeable in most cases. On the contrary, the size and weight make it very troublesome to use a lightweight stabilizer if you need it. If you want to shoot for a long time, you need at least DJI's RS3 Pro. You can use the 24-105 f4 lens with a lightweight stabilizer, such as Zhiyun's Vivo 3E, which is very light and compact. A stabilizer can fully handle it. In conclusion, this 24-105 f2 8 has no special significance for ordinary enthusiasts or even ordinary photographers, except for some very special professional video shooting scenes that can use the very unique advantages of this lens. I think in 99% of cases, you can choose other RF mount lenses with lower prices. In fact, I think this lens is more suitable for purchase if its price can reach around 17,000 or 18,000 yuan. But now you have more than 20,000 yuan, at least for personally, I don't think it's necessary to buy it. If the price can be reduced to 15,000 or 16,000, I might consider equipping my R5C with one. It's actually quite convenient for daily commercial shooting. I hope today's program can help you decide whether to choose the RF24, 10 5 F2, 8. Thank you for your help. See you in the next show. Bye.